Thank you, Matthew, and thank you, Robert. I will now present the harp. The harp is made from a flying disc with stretch cord, eye hooks, and these clasp in the back to hold the strings in place. Because each string is set to play a specific note, someone with a very limited music ability would be able to play this instrument with ease. Over time, the chords may become loosen up, and so the uh, eye hooks can be adjusted or fine-tuning to allow the frequency or the desired note to be played again. The frisbee disc itself is intact, so it can be thrown around as a frisbee, fine-tuned, and then played again, so it is a very durable instrument. The shortest chord is the highest note. Uh, it is approximately 2.7 inches long. The string itself is 0 0.0001 millimeters in density. And using the formula on slide 20, I found that applying 0.95 pounds of pressure on the string would produce 391 hertz, which is a G2 note. Using that same formula, I was able to find the length of each chord and the amount of tension needed to produce each note, which I will demonstrate now. One of the difficult things I found in making the harp was actually finding an angle that allowed each string to increase in its length, but have enough spacing in between so that way each note could be played without the other one playing as well. Uh, one of the things I would do to improve this design would be to possibly add a chamber on the back that would actually amplify the vibrations and make the harp seem louder. The total cost for this harp was just under five dollars. It was a total of four dollars and ninety six cents. Um, thank you for considering our designs. We believe that these will be the best instruments for your group. And this concludes the presentation for Team 5.